Oh, wow. It looks like the palazzo just came from a successful hunt. All the animals have been made into beautiful huts to be used and shared with the rest of the people in Mission San Luis. The Palachi are great warriors and hunters. Besides planting crops like corn, beans, and squash, they live off the land and hunt wild animals that are crucial in giving us most of the things we need every day here in Mission San Luis. All the animals that they found today are animals that have been in Florida for a long period of time. That's a lot of time for Native American communities of Florida to learn about these animals. The Apalachee have learned where to find animals, how they live in the environment, and what people can do to take advantage of this knowledge of animals to get and use animal resources. In fact, no community in the 1600s could work without animals. Now tell me, how are animals important where you live? What will they be used for, you ask? Well, for everything. I know it doesn't look like it now, but many of the animal hides are used for trade, home goods, clothes, tools, and for furniture covering and mats. Animal hides give us the materials we need for our families to make something new. Animal hides also give us something to trade with to get other things we may need from other tribes around us. We also use the meat and bones from the animals. That way we can make needles and fish hooks out of bones. Now, do you see this shell gardening tool in here? It's tied on with deer tendon, which is the stretch of muscle of the deer. So because they give us so much, some animals are regarded as sacred to the Palachi. They provide us with the food we need to survive, and for that, we are grateful. Hmm, I have an idea. Can you guess what type of animals they brought from the hunt based on what I have here? So based on what I have here, what type of animal do you think this is? Look at the antlers. Yeah, you guessed it. It's a white-tailed deer. Deer is one of the most important animals that the Palachians hunting in Florida. They often told stories and legends that mention deer interacting and talking with other woodland creatures just like humans would. The Apalachee often represent their clans with certain animals, and they use the animal's name to represent a certain family or clan. Deer is one of the prominent clans within our community. What qualities of a deer do you think make the deer a good animal to represent a clan? You may be wondering why deer are so important to the Apalachee people. Well, deer are abundant and extremely useful in many aspects of life here in Mission San Luis. These large animals have a lot of meat and other parts that can be used for everyday items. Deers provide hides for making deer skin to sleep on or tanned leather that is used for making clothing, pouches, and the tops of drums. Florida Native Americans also cut deer meat into thin strips to smoke them over a fire to make the meat last longer. Since it stays fresh for a longer time, it can be used as a source of food on long journeys and hunting trips. This makes it so much easier to hunt for longer periods and gather more food. Deer are seen as such a precious resource to many Native American groups that some communities even have instructive legends about hunting them. In the stories, the hunter is taught to take care about which animals he hunts. This is to hunt responsibly in order to ensure the deer will be around in the land for generations to come. These stories teach young hunters to respect where resources come from. Let's see if you can guess this one. What animal does this hide come from? Well, look at its color. It's black, right? I'll give you a hint. Its name in Apalachee is Nita. What was that? Yeah, if you said black bear, you're correct. This is the skin of a black bear. The black bear is very important to the Apalachee people. And just like deer, the bear's name, Nita, is used to represent several Apalachee families. They're even considered to be one of the main animals that they descended from, along with the wolf and Florida panther. Because of this, hunting bear is considered a privilege and necessary for survival. 
We take the importance of bear fur seriously because the chief has the right to any furs from bears hunted on lands he rules. When members of another tribe like the Chacato are granted a piece of land to cultivate and hunt on, they are freely able to hunt all animals except bears. Many different parts of the black bear can be used as resources, so much so that many southeastern Native American tribes, like the Apalachee, they use the black bear's meat for food, fat and oil for cooking, and furs for bedding. Moving on to the next animal, this one has dangerous sharp teeth and claws. You can also find it in the Florida swamps. What animal do you think it is? That's right, alligator. Alligators are among the many dangerous animals hunted here in Florida. They provide many of the same useful resources as the other animal skins on the barbacoa. Even alligator claws and teeth like this one in here can be used as tools or jewelry. If you had an alligator tooth, what would you use it for? However, the Appalachian had a big problem to solve. They had to come up with ways to hunt and protect themselves from animals like alligators, bears, which are bigger and stronger than people. These are dangerous animals, so you want to keep them away from wandering into villages and be prepared if you encounter them. Because of this, you need to know how alligators act in an environment. Moving on to the next one. What animal do you think this hide came from? It's really big. That's right, a bison. Bison is another animal that is hunted here in this area. What is a bison? It is a big, strong animal with horns. Actually, when the Spanish first came here, they called them something else. They thought they looked like bulls or cows from their homeland in Spain. For Native American tribes, bison provides practical resources of meat, skin, and tools. The Apalachee often trade for bison meat and the thick furs of the animals with the Chacato people. They live near the Apalachicola and Chipola rivers, where the bison are seen grazing. Let's try one a little bit trickier. Can you guess what animal this jaw came from? That's right, a shark. Buen trabajo, good job. The shark species found nearby in the Gulf of Mexico includes the bolt, the thresher, the nurse, and the hammerhead. Shark's teeth can be used for a lot of tools. These include knives, chisels, fish hooks, and spearheads. Shark teeth were also added to the end of war clubs to make shark tooth blades that were very useful for hunting. They were also used as jewelry or tools. Last but not least, here we have another animal. So, what do you think these feathers came from? I will give you a hint. This animal makes a funny gobble sound. Can you guess? Yeah, a turkey. Many Florida Native American groups, like the Timucuan tribe, they use turkey feathers to make crowns or as hair adornments when preparing for battle. Turkeys are very important to the Apalachee diet. Not only they eat the meat, but also they use them for trading. That's why the Apalachee women in the plaza, they'll be trading turkeys for things like buffalo, deer hides, lard, salt pork, fish, and any other animals. You're probably wondering what are these animals that I'm holding right now? Well, can you guess what they are? Well, if you thought this is a possum, you're right. And if you thought this is a raccoon, you're also right. They are both very important to the Palachi diet. Isn't it amazing how many different ways these animals can be used in everyday life? From clothing to bedding to cooking. These animals give us everything we need in order to live here at San Luis. Well, thank you for staying with me and learn a little bit about these hides and animals. I can't wait to share them with the people. I'll see you later. Adios.